one purpose why I created machine mowers is I realized the difficulty of just understanding these robots and taking them to a ready state. The installation alone is very uh, time consuming. Understanding it, the spatial orientation of laying out the wire can be challenging. And after laying down many yards, um, it takes, you have to know the limitations of each t different type of robot. And we're still learning all the time. So when we do the installation, we try our very, very best to set up correctly. But a part of the installation process is laying in boundary wire. Now, I want to bury most of the boundary wire when I can. And that's going to protect our robot, uh, the boundary wire, to protect these, so the communication system between the, dock, the charging station and the robot itself. So we can, it'll tell it, say, it'll only cut with the inside of this perimeter wire or boundary wire, okay? It's also for this particular generation of robot is the main way it finds its way, or I should say it's only way it finds its way back to the charging base. Other generations of robots are more sophisticated and can find its way back to the charging station in better ways, but this robot is limited by only using the boundary wire. So we're going to talk about the boundary wire right now. <clears throat> the boundary wire is buried typically a few inches beneath the earth. Now, out of the back of this uh, garage system, you can actually see one of the boundary wires. That could be one reason why your charging base could be disconnected as those wires have gotten loose back there for whatever reason. And you can see the grass around this area. The robot will bump into this uh, garage, but it won't actually damage it in any way, and it's very secure to the ground. But the wire travels throughout the yard or along the perimeter of the property three inches all the way around typical yards have around 700 to 800 feet of wire on them so there there is quite a lot of wire the more obstacles you have in your yard the more trees that has to go around well then you're gonna have to lay more wire down and all the, we have a we have specific tools now beyond just we used to do it manually but now we have specific tools where we can lay wire very, very quickly and efficiently and the correct way. But you can see the wire. And with this particular robot, it actually leaves a track mark. You can actually see some of the discoloration, kind of like when you use a manual mower. You can see where my neighbors just mowed their yard today. But I can see that right down the center of this track along this grass this is where the wire is. Now, if you, see, if you have some loose dirt on your property, like mud, um, well, it's very difficult to bury wire on basically clay or mud. See, I have it going around this little island out here. And you can see where this is where it hasn't been trimmed. It's been a couple weeks. And this is where it's been cut. And this is where the path of the, the, the machine runs. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the machine run around the boundary wire. So you're like, Baron, where is this boundary wire at? Well, that's a very good question. And so if you're ever doing landscape work, we can use our robot itself to tell us where the wire is at. And this is a multi-purpose function. So the way I test to see where the boundary wire is, I close this, if it's open, and I take this, pick this up, and I put the robot basically in front of the garage or the charging station. I open the console. It gives me a warning because I picked it up, right? I can hit the zero or back button. I want to hit this home button here, right here, tell it where to go, and it's going to say close windows to charge. Easy. I just close that console window, boom, and it goes to charge. And not, right now it is mowing, but when it actually runs out of batteries, the blade will actually stop moving and it will actually go and uh, uh, you'll, it'll be much, much even quieter because to save energy to return back to the charging station. So this is, it's actually traveling roughly around the center of that boundary wire. It's doing its best um, to travel down the center of the boundary wire. And this is where the boundary wire is in your yard. Now if that boundary wire gets cut, you remember the light on the charging station will begin flashing. And this means that one spot of hundreds of feet of wire 
has been cut in your yard. So, and then we have to come out and detect and find out where the, the break is, as well as splice it correctly. We don't want you splicing that wire incorrectly because the wire could be corroded and you'd just be wasting your time. And then you'd be like, well, where did I splice it to begin with? Just call us up, let us do it for you. It's not a big deal. Um, that's what we're here for. And it, it, wire breaks happen all the time for many different types of reasons. But the main thing I want to tell you is I cannot break this boundary wire. So if I want to do landscape work, you can see where my robot is going. And this is a way for you to know exactly where the robot is going so I can do landscape work. Example, say right in front of this, these bushes for whatever reason, I want to extend these bushes out and put river rock right here. Some nice river rock to kind of give a path or something or put a fountain back here or whatever. Well, not only would I need to adjust the boundary wire, but also, um, which you would call us if you do any type of landscaping work, let us know so we can adjust the wire. So it basically makes it so your mower keeps working. And then we would just trim around that or you would trim around it while the landscaping is happening or your planned landscape is happening. So that's, that's a little bit about the boundary wire um, and how it works around your particular property. And you can see this, uh, our uh, robot friend here, I call mine uh, Rocco, my wife does. And it will actually go all the way back to the charging station following this boundary wire all the way back through the whole path all the way back. It'll have enough battery to make it all the way back. These robots are very, very efficient.